This is how to clean a charge uh, roller in a PCU slash drum unit. You'll open up the front door, pull this locking screw out, set it aside, and then there'll be two handles, one right here, one right here. You lift those up, you pull on this door. Now, depending on what color that is streaking, you've got yellow, cyan, magenta, black. In this case, if we say it's got black streaks, we'll lift this handle up, and then this unit will slide right out. Now, just set the drum unit on a table, and then you'll turn it up on its side. And then right here, this whole section right here is the charge corona unit, and you'll with a flat screwdriver, you'll reach in here and just pry on it just a little bit, right up underneath here. Just like so. And then this section will just roll down. Um, once it rolls down, then you can just slide it straight out. Now on the ends, you'll pop off. It just, just pops right off this gear. And then on the ends, you'll see some C-clips right there. And they'll be on both ends. And on this end, you've got a little brass uh, tab right here. You want to be careful not to bend that. But you just reach in here with your screwdriver and pry this out on one side and then on the other side. All right. Then you'll take and slide this out like this and then just slide it right on out. Now you've got, this is what is causing your streaking. So you can use Glass Plus, Awesome, Grease Lightning, anything like that and you just squirt a little bit on the rag and just go back and forth and get it nice and clean. Now what you'll see if you're getting streaking is you'll see this roller, instead of being a nice tan like this, you'll see white streaks all around it. And that's what's causing your streaking. Now, if you see something like this, that's okay. It's not going to affect your copy quality, but you want to try not to do any more of that. But you just wipe it off. And before you put this back in, make sure that it's completely dry. Um, if you have uh, access to an air compressor, it would be a good idea to try to blow this out because this is right here is what keeps this charge roller clean. You can go outside and just you know take your mouth and blow on it, um, but you might get a bunch of toner all over you. Uh, to put it back in, if you'll notice on this end right here, it's got a spring on there. So when you push on this, this spring can go flying. So be careful that you uh, don't pop that section out. The long side will go to the side that doesn't have this tab right here. So this long side right here will go through here. And then this side will go in through there like that. Now we'll just put the C-clips back on. Um, for time purposes, I'm just going to leave them off. You'll put C-clips on both sides, and then you'll put your gear, snap it back on. Then this section will go in like this, and then you flip it up like that, and just snap it in. Now all you do is you take your drum unit and just slide it back in. Just like that. Press your handle down. Press the door up. Handle over, handle over. Put your locking screw back in and you're all set to go. Now one thing I want to point out, when you pull the charge roller out of the machine, if it looks this black, it's probably because it's time for your drum unit to be replaced. You can clean them when they're this black looking, but and it will probably get rid of the streaks, but they're going to come back. So if you see something that's this black, uh, you probably need to order a new drum unit.